hello guys welcome back to my channel guys how are you guys doing today i hope you're all doing great a very big thank you once again to all my subscribers thank you guys so much for always coming back i appreciate you guys a lot and if you're new here i want to say thank you for also coming please do not forget to hit the subscribe buttons okay and also remember to on the bells beside it on the notification bell so that you will always get notified every time my weekly video drops on this channel thank you guys today i'll be showing you how to make the lapel um, jacket on the previous video i showed you how to create the patterns super easy i uh, will link it up in the description box in case you have not watched it please go ahead and watch it it's very very easy for you to understand okay so this is it this is for the back piece we created and also this is the front piece this is the lapel effect you can see this and here is the color as well so what I will do now is just to place my entire piece here. I'll be cutting it out on this fabric. Okay, so you can see um, we actually call this unfold, right? So even though we have one piece, what we are placing to our fabric, we're going to be having two pieces of this and two pieces of this as well. This one is the center back, so this is going to be unfold. Then this one's at the side. Then this is the front. You can see the lapel effect here. So we are going to be having two pieces of this as well, and two pieces of this. Why this color is going to also be cut on fold. And mind you, the way we are cutting it on the fabric, we are also going to cut it what, on the lining we are going to be using. I'm using the lining for that. So for the lining, um, I'm going to mix it up with this particular one. Where I'll be having the mix is where I have this my lapel cutters, okay? So while I'm cutting my lining, I'm going to get that after. While I'm cutting my lining for every other single piece here, I will use this one and cut out for this one particular. So this one is going to be just for um, the line because I want my this um, this plain fabric to appear. You know, it's going to be it's going to be sliding this way afterwards. You're going to be seeing the inside, right? So instead of seeing the inside, the lining itself. I would rather we use this. I hope you understand what I mean. So that's just it. And for the color, yes, I think I'm also going to use this one for the color as well. So that the lapel and the color will have the same color. Okay? Yeah. So that's what I'm just going to do now. Take my time, place this on my fabric and my lining, pull them all out, and of course, I will show you the next step. So and here, guys, I've gone ahead to um, cut out the piece using the patterns. And I also extended the length as well to my desired length. So here, this is the um, the plain part for the lapel. So I, I went ahead to iron my interfacing here on both sides. The same thing I also did for the main piece, okay? So they are just the two I applied interfacing for. Then here is the color as well. So I also applied interfacing for both pieces of color, the plain and the main piece. So like I said, if the, the, the lapel is going to have this plain fabric, so the, the visible part as well for the color will also have this main fabric, okay? Yeah. So um, the other piece as well, I just cut out the lining. I didn't put any interfacing. So this is it for the other sides of the front piece and also the back piece as well. So it's a lot of fabric here. It's important to label it so that you don't get it all mixed up. Okay, yeah. So um, setting this aside for now, I'll go ahead and cut out uh, my sleeve. So for the sleeve, um, it's going to be a long sleeve and um, the length I'm working with is 24, then plus the extra hanging allowance, so 25. So I have 25 here. So I'll go ahead and indicate the um, calf side. So ordinarily, your regular sleeve calf sides of say 4, 4.5, or even 5 is okay. Yeah, but for this one, because it's a suit and the calf side is usually, you know, wider, say about 6 or 7 inches. So I'm going to use, say, um, 6.5 here for the calf side. Then coming down to the bicep, the bicep side I'll have it at eight. Then the three quarter length I'll have it at thirteen. Then of course the length of the sleeve. So I'll just extend these lines. Okay. 
So from this cap side here, this 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 is actually the length of the round arm hole. Okay, so the round arm hole is um, 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So I have about 9.5 here, just an extra half inches of allowance. I'll work with that. So what I'll do now is to take this from here, I'll connect it to this end point to create a slant. So we're trying to create this, this leaf curve now. So you can see this. So after that, this slant line I have, I'm just going to measure it and get the midpoint. So what I have here is 11.5. Okay, I have about 11.5 here. So I'll just get the midpoint, which should be about 5.75. So here. So what I'll do is to take it this way and bring it out this other way. Meanwhile, I have a, a video on how to cut out a, a sleeve, regular sleeve. It's quite detailed and easy to understand, okay? Yeah, so this is it. So we've created our sleeve. Ideally, when we must have joined the piece together, it's also important to measure the armhole part so that you'll be sure that um, what you have is going to fit in what you have there as well. If you need to, you know, take in the curve a little more, then you will do that. Okay, so what I have here now, if you check this curve, I have about 12.5 here, which should be okay. So that is it. So coming to this um, bicep line, I'll fix in the round arm of that part. And what I have is um, 13. So 13 divided by 2, that's 6.5. So I'm going to mark 6.5. Then I'll add extra one inches of allowance. Then come to the three quarter length. The round arm hole there is um, 12 divided by two, that's six. I'll also add extra one inches of allowance. Then the, the um, wrist, this part, the round um, um, sleeve here is um, 10 and 10 divided by two, that's five. So I'll also add what? extra one inches of allowance. So I'll just go ahead and connect this point. So we have it. So I'll go ahead and pull this out. So here we have it, our sleeve is ready. I would like to notch this center part, and that's it for the sleeve. So we're done with this. So the next thing now will be to um, join this uh, entire piece together. So I'll come back to my piece here. So I'm going to be separating the linings from the main piece because we're going to be working on it separately. So I'll go ahead and separate them all. So here, this is the front and the back piece for the, the main piece itself. Then I also have the lining separated. So working with the main piece, what I'll do now is just to join this um, that together. So this is the back. This is the back view. So just go ahead and stitch this the way it is. You can see, so I'm just going to watch, place it this way, starting from the bottom, okay? So I'll take half an inch all the way to like bring it all together. Then the same thing here as well, I'll take it half an inch, okay? So this one settles for the back piece. Then this, for the front piece also, the same thing. Remember, this is the one that have the opening. So you can see opening here so i'll just also what place it this way also going to what right side facing each other take it half an inch make sure you start from the bottom and the same thing for the other side so whatever it is i'm doing here i'll also repeat for the lining itself okay so let me just go ahead and finish up this that then of course come back for the next step and yeah guys i'm done joining the sides together so this is the lining for the front piece for the two you can see this then this is for the back the lining then for the main piece also this is the back and um, the front as well 
So here it is for the front. Okay. So that's it. So what I'm going to do now is to join the shoulder first. So I'm going to take these are the front. So I'm just going to place the back piece over it and join it at the shoulder. I'm using half of an inch to do that. So I'm going to be joining the shoulder this way. And also this. I'll repeat the same thing for the lining as well. So here I'm done joining the shoulders. So this is how it's looking from the outside now. You can see this. And also for the main piece itself. So what I'm going to do now is to get the center of this neckline. So I will, I will match up this shoulder line together. It's very important to do that so that you get the perfect uh, spot for the center. Don't just start, um, you know, holding it from this beginning part. No. Start from this where you have the shoulder joining. Just make it match up like so. Then you're able to get the center of the neckline. Okay, so I'm going to notch here now. So I'll also take um, the color, the one that matches it. So I'll take it and also get the center point. So we're notching the parts where you have um, the curve. So making sure that they are well aligned at the edge. I'll go ahead and notch the center as well, like so. So what I'll do now is to take this color and, and match it with the main um, outfit, making sure that both notched lines are meeting each other. You see this? So I'll secure this with a pin. So you're going to start stitching from this notch point this way and to the other side. So I'll just demonstrate this now. So you have to follow the same process. So with uh, like half of an inch. So you keep doing this. So you're not going to be sewing to the very end of this collar. You can just stop some inches away. So you see, I'm curving that curve part now, making sure that it fits. So I'm getting towards the very end. So at this point, I'd just like to measure um, from this end. Because like I said, you're not going to be sewing to this very um, end of the, the collar. So I'll measure like say 2 inches. You can do 1.5. So I'm doing 2 inches. So I'm just going to mark that point. Okay. And I'll stop my stitch at 2 inches. Okay. So I'm stopping exactly at 2 inches. So this is how is going to look. see that uh, not effect and don't forget by the time you use your lining now half inch is still going towards go away from this side okay hope you understand that so you see how it is on this side so we're going to repeat the same process and also make sure that just as you stopped two inches um, before this end point you also do the same thing on this side as well So you can see how this looks now. See the edge? You can see how this looks. So this is what we're going to do. Be sure to also notch it once you're done stitching. So what I did here, I'm also going to repeat the same process for the lining as well. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Once I'm done fixing the collar, I'll also go ahead and fix my sleeve. If there's any excesses at this armhole, I'll just trim off the excesses. Then I'll take my sleeve and match it um, the lining to the lining and the main piece to the main piece. So I already have my notched here uh, for my sleeve. 
So I'll just take it this way and I spread it open at this shoulder line. I'll also take the point where I have notch on my sleeve. You see what I'm doing? I'm also going to work. match it up. There are different ways you can actually fuse your sleeve. Either you close by the side first before doing that or whichever way is easier for you. So place it here and you take it all the way, fix the sleeve. So that's what I'm going to finish up now. Then of course I'll come back to show you the next step, okay? And so here I've attached um, the collar. You can see this is for the lining. I've also attached the sleeves. Okay, so all is left now is to join it by the side. I did the same thing. This is the main piece itself. You can see the collar. You can see the sleeve as well. Okay, so um, I need to point out this. So you can see from the inside, I just attached this little, this is called wording. I'm using this in place of um, the shoulder pad itself, okay? So this is just an option to use if you don't want to, you know, you don't have access to the shoulder pad itself. So this was just a wording that's called, this is the middle um, faced wording. So this was it. I just cut out a piece of it like this. I just measured five inches in length, like so. Let's assume this is five inches and three inches in width okay so five inches three inches so cut this out so you have this five inches three inches so i just folded it into two okay like the wind point and gave it a semicircle so from the edge i curved it by the side So you can see this was what i got okay yeah so and in replacing it i placed it um the part where you attach the sleeve should be facing this this um straight part okay and making sure you know it, it has a gum on it as well so you make sure that the gum is facing the main fabric is so that when you iron it will you know really relax very well so the part where you attach the sleeve that was where these straight parties, okay? So you can just quickly stitch it around, making sure that you have it centered as well. So give it a notch and make sure that this center point aligns with um, the shoulder joining, okay? So you can just give it a tiny stitch first to have it in place, then before you now attach to your sleeve. So that was what I did to achieve this, okay? So it's as easy as that. So now that I've joined the, the sleeve to it, so the next thing, of course, will be towards join the side. So I'm going to take it all the way from the sleeve. So like I said, there are different ways. You can actually um, have, you know, fixed your side before joining your sleeve. Whichever way you feel is easier for you to do that. So you can see it this way now. So I'm just going to take the measurement. Remember to take the measurement for the sleeve because this is a long sleeve. The, the measurement for the ankle is different from the, um, the three-quarter length and also at the bicep. So just take your measurement all the way and at the armhole part, then of course, you now start taking it from the side all the way straight down. You can see this. So this is what I'm going to do on the other side and on the lining as well. So I'll go finish that up. And yeah, guys, I'm done I'm fixing the sleeve and I've given this um, a very good press. This is very, very important. At every stage of your stitch, it's always good to give it a good press. So you can see a jacket has been formed already. This is the lining part of it. You can see this. And uh, here, of course, is the main piece as well. This is looking so beautiful already. So you can see the part, the shoulder part is sitting there. Also ironed it to be well relaxed. So what is left now is to what? Finally, turn it all with the lining, okay? So, at this stage, you're going to be placing it, of course, right side facing each other. So, just the way it is, I'm going to match it up with the top. So, you just have to really take your time. If you need a wider space, please go ahead so that you spread it properly and be sure that every part align with each other both the, um, the princess, that part, everything was must align properly so that you don't have it um, 
coming out wrong. So you can see starting from the color part, you can see every point you are matching, you just be what holding it all down with a pin because this is where you're going to be what doing your stitch. So take your time and um, hold it firmly all through. You see what I'm doing? This is the color part. Okay, so afterwards, the sleeve is still left inside, so you're going to take it all the way to the side, just match it or hold it down and that's so all, it's, it's very um, straightforward, nothing difficult here. You can see I'm done with this side, I'll move to the other side. Tucking in your sleeve first. Also take it. So this is the lapel part. You can see. So you can see this now. Then at the side as well, also make sure, like I said, the dart part or the hemline matches each other, just like you have this. You see the two hemline, I'm making sure they match, they match up. Okay. You move to the next hemline. You can see this, making sure what it matches up. move to the next so you can see this now so what you are going to do now is to just start sewing it all through so you can start from this color part you can see the way it looks here this is the notched part so you just go this way make sure you follow it truly and you come out then you take it just follow the shape as you have it there. Half of an inch is okay. If you come to this other part, this notch part, just follow the curve, come inside, and then move out again. Just follow the shape you have here, okay? Then, of course, take it what straight down, okay? So, before um, the lower part, what I would really like to do, remember we are turning it off with the lining, so you need the lining, the length to be shorter than the main piece, okay, so that by the time you turn it all through, you will have the lining moving up inside, you know, the way you usually turn um, your outfit with lining. So what I will do is what, before even um, um, holding down this, all this part where you have the um, hemline, I would what, make sure that I reduce the length of this lining, I will take away like one inch, okay, just carefully um, cut out one inch all through cut out one inch all through okay to get to the other end okay before you now start holding it down i hope you understand so that once you do that by the time you stitch by the time you take it down and you turn it in the lining will be moving inside i hope you understand it's as easy as that yes so that's what um we're going to do now so because you're going to close it all through you need a space to bring it all out right so you come to this back this back piece the lining part please do not forget that this lining part just locate about four inch somewhere let's say on this um the dart line where you have your dart um, princess dart line at the back just locate like four inches open it up okay about four inches and leave it open that is where i'll be turning it all out from okay so after you must have uh fixed in your pin have everything in place ready to take your hem then you can just open up four inches outward okay yeah that's so that's it guys so that's what i'm just going to do right now so yeah guys i'm done closing it all up so what i will do now is just to carefully what give it a notch all through, especially on this lower part, the lower part and the um, collar part as well. Every point, even on this point, I'll be notching every part of it, okay? 
so i'll go ahead and do that after that then we can now turn it over So this part where you have your notched um, color parts, you have to be very, very careful, like so that you don't, you know, really go and affect the stitch itself. Just be careful with your notch. So I'm done that all through. So what I'll do now is to flip it out to the right side. So remember I said we leave four inch um, space on the lining. So you see here is the opening. So this is where I'm going to be turning it out from. So you can see these guys, you can see, so what this needs now, it's a very good press, so you can see this. So the next thing I'll do now is um, the sleeve. So at this point I have it all scattered up, so I'm going to move it inside. So I'm moving in the lining inside for just to have it um, in place first. So here we have this. The next thing now will be to what, um, close up the sleeve. So this is what um, we can do. Now, if you don't want to go through the process of um, hemming it from inside, which is actually the, the right way and the best way, you can want to do this. You can see the, the lining is inside. At this point, at this point, the lining is still the same length with the sleeve. That's when you can actually do this. So what you do is just to fold the main piece half of an inch inwards and also the lining you see you're folding it half of an inch inwards you can see it this way so you're just folding both of them inwards and you take it round then after that you can apply um, a hemming gum and give it a very good press so you have it staying put like that okay if you want to you know do it this way i hope you understand so you have it close up you fold it half of an inch inwards and apply um hemming gum around then you give it a good place um you give it a very good press and it will stay put okay yeah but like i said the lining and the piece will be the same for you to be able to do this of course the next option which is not even advisable is to stitch it around it will not be nice because you'll be seeing the stitch at the edge okay of, of course except you just want to play around with that then the other way which is the right way is to what sew it from the inside so at this point because the lining is still the same what i'm going to do is to stretch out my lining and um cut off just like i did for the main piece remember we trimmed out some excess on the lining which made it to um, the fabric to go inside you can see it at uh, the, the the main piece itself so the lining you're also going to do the same thing so i'll just take away say like um one inch or three quarter depending on what you want to take it in okay i'm doing that for just the lining then the other sleeve as well i'll also trim out some excesses so that by the time i'm done stitching the sleeve will go inwards taking away about one inch here i think i have to reduce this one a bit as well
okay so once i'm done stitching it will be like this just like the way the main pieces so what i'm going to do now is where we have that opening i'm going to what dip my hand but be sure that you have your sleeve in place like this is very very important to have it in place with your lining like this so i'll be dipping my hand from this opening into one part of the sleeve okay you can see my hand is out so i will be bringing it out you are bringing it out you are not just holding the piece you're also holding the line you are bringing out both the sleeve and the lining out together just hold it put and push it out from this opening you can see the way it is now so this way now you would now join the right side facing each other so what you do is to locate the hem line of your sleeve and the hem line of this lining you match it up you're going to match it up make sure they match each other eh? that will give you a guide then you can now take it round okay that's what you can do but if you're if it's a little bit difficult walking around in the circles one thing i would like to advise you which i also like to do as well i'm going towards losing up this side i'm losing up to like um um four inches downward this is just to give you um enough space so that you can sew after which you would also sew this part back so i'm losing up say like three to four inches on the side of this sleeve you can see what i'm doing okay so once i'm done with this I will now take it you see what i mean i will spread it open like this if you choose if you still want to take it a little bit further fine but this is okay this is just to give you a space so that you can sew um, properly instead of taking it around the circle that's what i meant so at this point right side facing each other you can see i'll place it over then i'll start sewing half of an inch can see this so once i'm done stitching it then you will see it this way now so at this point i will now close up that space i open and that's it so once you're done making the stitch then you can now pull it out but take note at this point you'll be pulling it out from the main piece remember when we wanted to bring it out we brought it out from that four inches space on this line but once you're done stitching it you'll be pulling it out from this main piece, from this main piece, okay? Not the lining. So you're going to be dipping your hands inwards now, you see? You're dipping your hands straight. You are extending it to the lining. So you're just going to what? drag everything out. When you drag everything out, you'll have it in place, okay? That is what, that is, that is just the easiest way, okay? Because if you don't do this, it can be a little bit tricky, okay? Yeah, so especially if you're trying this for the first time. So just dip your hands from the main piece through this um, main fabric and extend it to the lining then you push it all in so if you are pushing it all in you will have it both the lining going inwards okay so that is just what you're going to do what i'm doing here of course i'll do to the other part of the sleeve and once this is done i'll give this a very good price and of course i'll show you the final look of this jacket and hey guys, this jacket is all ready, it's good to go. I'm done with the sleeve. You can see how the inside looks. So this is good to go. This is so beautiful. So the inside where we have that opening, you can go ahead and stitch it. I stitched mine. If you want to use a hemming gun to close it up, you can also do that. So this is it, you wear it and you have your lapel structured. Then the part where you fix in your bottom, just fix in your bottom, depending on the spacing you want. You can do two inch, three inches, just fix in the buttons and rock your outfit. So you can see this is all beautiful. So that is it, guys. We have come to the end of today's tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me in making this beautiful notch collar jacket. Thank you, guys. I hope you have fun because I really did. 
um, please don't forget to like, share, comment if indeed you find this helpful. And also, if you've not subscribed, please do not forget to do that as well. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. And thank you again to all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys a lot. Till I see you on the next video, guys. Have a wonderful day.